interest. Then see if the material is related to what you want to study. If it is, get the source, get the source, write what you have found, and then organize everything that you have found. That's critical review. In my experience, you have a better chance when you do a critical review, for example, when you do a matrix like this, okay, you do, uh, this is your area of, of interest. Okay, you write it there. And then you have uh, books. Journals. Published reports. Okay. Unpublished, you do it. So from the books, you have your reference. Write the name of the book. For example, in the case of this book that we are using, if this is what you will use, Sikera um, Poma. You get the author Uma and Roger Mojio. Okay, what is the book about? Okay, business research. And then you will write the publisher. The publisher is uh, John in UK. It's the name. Then John Wally. Okay. And then the publication year is 2013. Then write something about the book here. What's the book about? If you want to be more specific, you can actually put the page. What page did you read that you got your data from? Now, from the journals, you do the same. What is the journal that you have read? What is the article about? And what did, uh, if it's a published, if it is a study, you write the objectives of the study, you look at the variables, you look at the uh, methodology, you look at the population, you look at the samples, you look at the instrument, you look at the findings, you look at the conclusions. What, and then finally the recommendations. When you read a research related to your interest, you read up to the end, the, which is the recommendation. When you do research, you end it with the recommendation. What do you think should be done? Now every researcher, has a good recommendation. You know when you do research, you have a title and a problem. You think that everything has been covered. Now when you actually gather the data and look at the data, that's the only time when you realize that you have not covered some data that are very important. But you cannot change anymore because you're almost uh, through with the research. So what you do is put that in the recommendation. You recommend that maybe uh, somebody else do research on this area because it looks like this has been found to be part of the factors that would uh, uh, affect your uh, problem that you're studying. So read up to the recommendations part. So you write everything, you have a column for that. And when you've done that, it's easier for you to go back. You have the books, you have the journals, you have the published materials, you have the unpublished materials. So develop a matrix that will help you organize your literature later. Okay? Ah, uh, okay. literature. Literature review này thật sự nó chỉ là một cái bản tóm tắt lại những cái gì mà các chị đọc thôi. Nhưng mà nãy bạn có nói á, là ở cái bước số 3 của mình là sau khi mình xác định được cái vấn đề của mình rồi mình sẽ tìm cái vấn đề để mình đọc đúng không? Thì trong quá trình của chúng ta làm việc sợ đó, chúng ta đọc rất là nhiều sách báo, rồi này nọ đủ thứ hết Thì cái nhiệm vụ của cái này nó chỉ là một cái bản thống kê lại những cái cuốn sách mà chúng ta đã đọc Nội dung chính của nó này thì tên tác giả là ai, trang nào Để sau khi chúng ta làm xong bài 
Microsoft đó. Cuối cùng của bài Microsoft luôn nó sẽ có một cái phần gọi là reference list là những cái mà chúng ta phải ghi lại những cái sọt mà chúng ta đã sử dụng của Brand uh, Secondary Data là những cái nguồn sách báo bảo hành không phải chúng ta tự tìm kiếm được thì cái này sẽ giúp chúng ta tìm kiếm thông tin lại được nhanh hơn và khi mà biết bài chẳng hạn như là ảnh thôi tôi không gì đó hoặc nói cái gì đó thì cái người mở cái bạn ra để tìm kiếm nhanh hơn là ví dụ mình không làm cái bước này á sau này nếu mà mình cần thông tin mình mở sách báo là rất là được thì cũng cái này chỉ có bạn thôi thì mọi người làm một cái bảng chạy như đọc sách nào trang máy nội dung chính là gì đi ra rồi cái thứ hai là gì rồi nếu mà chúng ta đọc article ở trên mạng thì là cái trang nào nguồn tin gì ai viết viết ngày nào tháng nào nội dung chính là gì ta làm một cái bảng thống kê ra để sau này chúng ta tìm kiếm thông tin cho dễ và làm ra phần xin cho thật dễ thôi thì cũng cái này là bạn ok rồi cái này hả rồi Okay, these are the reasons why you need to do a literature review. Okay, the research effort is association relative to existing knowledge. Your research must be based on existing knowledge. You uh, there is a gap that you find and therefore you want to study it further. Second, one does not run the risk of reinventing the wheel. In other words, if it's not a problem, don't make it a problem. Just like what people say, if it's not broken, don't mend it. Okay? Third, the background is available to enable you to look at the problem from a specific angle. You might have a big problem in your mind, but when you read the literature, you start narrowing it down until you settle with a specific problem. So you can get a clearer idea as you go along in your review. Because when you review, you read a lot. And therefore, the problem becomes clearer to you. You might want to change some problems, but the literature review should be you. Okay? You cannot do research without a literature review. Okay? That's where you find terminologies in the related literature. Variables like uh, performance, tardiness, absenteeism, third over. These are all what we call variables. Like, what are the variables for job satisfaction? Autonomy. When you're allowed to make decisions, you get more satisfied. Recognition is a variable of job satisfaction. If you're doing something good and management does not seem to notice you, then you will become disappointed. You will not be happy. So these are all variables. You will only find that when you read the literature. Okay? So literature research or review is very important. The stability and replicability of the findings of the current research and enhance when you do literature review. The research findings are related to the findings uh, of others. In other words, your findings might be related to the findings of other people. And what you think is there in your area of interest might be what people already studied before you. And therefore, you already have a basis for all of them. You only get that from the literature review. Okay. okay.
không có product mới hay là để cho hướng là custom nó không thỏa mãn với dịch vụ hiện tại để biết là chúng ta làm research cho đúng cái hướng của mình muốn à, Về những cái từ rival mà hồi nãy cô có mention tới cho mình á thì chẳng hạn như là cái sự hài lòng trong công việc mà nãy cô có nói thì khi mà mình có một cái vấn đề to như thế này nè rival là khi mình break down ra nó nhỏ hơn sao vì lương vì thưởng vì không có chương trình đào tạo phù hợp hay là cái thái độ hành xét quá nghiệp vụ thì những cái tội ra rồi là những cái mà chúng ta sẽ testing trong quá trình chúng ta làm việc sao ví dụ à, thái độ của sếp ảnh hưởng như thế nào đến cái nội phong của một người nhân viên hay là lương ảnh hưởng như thế nào đến việc người ta làm việc có tốt hay không ví dụ như vậy đó là gọi là cái tội ra rồi chúng ta test ok so you do that in the future review but is the first thing that you do. The first thing that you do is to determine the sources that you need to use. What are the sources? Books, what else? Academic and professional journals, like business reports. Now you need to look at this. Thesis, conference proceedings, unpublished manuscripts and the like. These are all the sources. The internet can be a big source. You just uh, you just uh, type your search, and then you narrow down your search, and you get so many. When you try to go to the type, to input a phrase or a word in the computer, you will notice that so many will appear. For example, if you, if you just appear. Uh, Personally, I'll turn over. You will notice that uh, the computer might say 4,300 articles on personnel turnover. Personnel burnout. Why do people live because of burnout? What is a burnout? That's a phenomenon among people who work. When you get tired and you feel that you're not being effective anymore, that could be burnout. And people who are burned out do not function efficiently and effectively. And therefore, your company might want to check. Are my people burned out already? And therefore, what should we do so that they get back to their old self of being enthusiastic, being engaged, being committed in their work? So you look at the internet, but I have to warn you that the internet, again, let me say, it's not regulated. And therefore, you have to be critical about the materials that you do. Never look at, or you can look at it, but never cite uh, sources from Wikipedia, for example. Because Wikipedia are, are not reliable. Okay? The materials you get from Wikipedia may be a bit correct, but they are not always reliable. Get from a journal. Get from an unpublished research materials from the internet. You just uh, type researches on, for example, researches on client satisfaction or service quality and everything else will be there. You go for the uh, researches that have been uh, analyzed. <coughs> Excuse me. You, <coughs> you go for the researches that have been uh, referred. What do you mean by referred? It has been read, <coughs> it has been reviewed, it has been read, and it has been recommended for publication. These are the best sources of information for you. Okay? Textbooks. Even as you work, there must be a lot of textbooks that you can read. Especially when you read about theories. Then there are journals. Professional journals, academic journals. You have your business journals. You have your Fortune 500. These are all important magazines that can tell you a lot. 
Okay, we just finished. Okay, articles from books, from journals. Then thesis. Your dissertation and your thesis. These are all good sources of literature for your research. Then conference proceedings. You may not have been able to attend, but you leave the proceedings anyway because you will be, uh, get more current information because in conferences, they only accept for presentation researches that are done scientifically and are current. In other words, very uh, recent, not more than five years, not more than three years. So very new ideas could emerge when you read the proceedings from conferences. Then unpublished manuscripts. Then reports. Government departments and corporations. Uh, commission people to carry out a large amount of research for them. For example, uh, DTI, the Department of Trade and Industry, can commission a study. And the report could be very important if you're dealing with trade, trading in different industries. Because then you will see how the industry is moving. Newspapers. For example, I am interested in uh, looking at indigenous people's health practices. And just yesterday, I have read about uh, women being violated by men. There are still cultures that would not hire women or that would not hire women when they are married or have children. So that is discrimination and a form of violence against women. And the United Nations is looking at these cultures who would violate women. Some cultures would even uh, cut or do operations on their reproductive organs to prevent women from getting pregnant. Yeah, in Africa, we call that uh, infibulation. Uh, they operate on the uh, reproductive organs of the women. They close it so that they will not bear a child. Because it's very painful. When they have a sexual relationship, it becomes very painful. If it's painful, you wouldn't want it. So if you don't want it, then you will not have any child. Because they're trying to have uh, to limit children. But in other cultures, they pay you for having children. If they find that you are applying family planning, then they will find you because their population is getting old. For example, I think in, in the Middle East, there's a country there that uh, the population, where the population is old. Everybody, almost 80% of their population are age 40 and above. So time will come when there will be no more child in the population. And when these old people die, there will be no more younger generation that will replace them. So the government said, if you limit, you will be punished. They kill the couples whom they find out to be a limiting uh, pregnancy. So all of these are born out of researches. You can get data like this from newspapers by reading newspapers that are very fresh every day. And then your newspaper, the date and the article, you just keep it. Cut it, paste it, and you might use that as a reference for your research. Then, of course, the interview. Okay, so it's all about literature search. Okay? They are really quite moral. I can't even know that. They are like a dog, a cat, a dog, 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 a dog,
reading. Okay? Read and read and read. I have not, I do not know. The idea of thing for you is to require everybody to do a research. But I haven't discussed this with Miss Chow and Miss River yet. Are you going to do it as a group, like two, two of you, or you do it individually? Because you have to defend it. You have to defend it, you have to present it, and defend it. But you know you can do it. We have students from Indonesia, we have students from uh, Kuala Lumpur, from uh, Thailand, they are able to defend. In from Vietnam. I sat in a panel by one from Vietnam for a master's thesis. So one person defends his own uh, proposal, does the collection of data, and then writes the thesis and defends it again before a panel. That's the ideal thing to do. So right now you have to do this individually. It's the right time to start. So read the literature and read your sources. Write your sources, okay? Okay, be very careful because people now are so aware that the literature review should be clean and it should not be something that has been plagiarized. Because when you plagiarize an original work, you will be guilty of copying and uh, violating the work of other people, copyright law. So, these are the common forms of plagiarism. Okay, sources are not cited. The ghost writer. The writer turns in another's work, word for word, as their own. Now, this is not right. You are a ghost writer. You write, you copy somebody else's work, and you turn it in and scale it to be your own. The next is the photocopy. The writer copies significant portions of text straight from a single source without alteration. So you do not put in your own ideas, but you just simply copy. That's a form of plagiarism. Now the potluck paper. The writer tries to disguise plagiarism by copying from se several different sources, tweaking the sentences to make them fit together while retaining most of the original phrasing. So it's very difficult. The, I heard that there is now a uh, software that will check whether what you submit is something that has not been copied. And if you have copied it, that you have cited the original author or source correctly. So when you submit something for publication, for example, they put your paper and apply a kind of software. And then it appears there, how many words did you copy? How many paragraphs did you copy? How many sentences did you copy? And therefore, when they are not, uh, when they see that you have copied quite a lot, in your manuscript, they return the manuscript to you. They reject it for publication. Because if a publishing company publishes your work, and it has been plagiarized, the publication also is uh, guilty of the same offense. Okay? Sources are not cited. The poor disguise. Although the writer has retained the essential content of the source, he or she has altered the paper's appearance slightly by changing keywords and phrasing. The labor and the reasons. The self-stealer. So this, this is a big issue. Luis, can you translate? Um, cái phần này nó như là nó tương đối dài dọc thì chỉ có cách là chọn thành phần như thế này nha. Là khi mình viết bài đó, thì uh, làm ơn uh, không có copy y chang những cái gì mà ở trên mạng viết ra. Trong bài của các anh chị nếu mà viết một cái research thường sẽ có ảnh coi lên tù. Xong rồi tôi cái ông đó 